Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna go over some handbag secrets every woman should learn. Much like the other videos in this type of series on my channel, I'm gonna dive into the things that you can keep in mind in order to curate your handbag collection and ultimately find things that are really beautiful, really high quality, and really versatile for your style. That way, as you develop your personal style, you make the best choice possible. Before we get started though, I want to thank Songmont for sponsoring today's video we're working together on this video topic so I'm gonna be styling two of their bags throughout and I'm gonna use them to illustrate my points because they do so really beautifully I'm also gonna link everything in the description box down below along with the color information and direct links and then also a discount code which I will put here and then again in the description box so let's get started so the first handbag secret that I want to go over goes a really long way in how luxe your handbag is gonna look and ultimately helps you choose something really well made and that is to pay really close attention to the hardware and here there are a couple things to keep in mind the first is that your hardware is consistent throughout the entire bag so the finish and the overall texture and just the general energy of the hardware is consistent from the zippers to the buckles to any detailing and anywhere that that's visible on the inside and then also on the outside of your bag this is gonna go a really long way in keeping everything really cohesive and that thoughtfulness is something that's really essential in making something look really high quality. And then another thing to keep your eye out for is to make sure that none of the hardware has any chipping or scratching and certainly that the finish isn't coming off on anything. And especially if you're looking at a brand new bag, this should be really, really true. Everything should look pristine and again, be cohesive. Anywhere there's a hardware, it should all look like it belongs together. So one of the easiest ways to tell if the hardware is high quality is to examine the zipper. Not not only should the zipper be lined up really perfectly, there shouldn't be any gaps or, or weird uh, spacing throughout the zipper teeth, but then also when you actually use the zipper, it should function really smoothly. It shouldn't catch on anything, snag on anything, and you should be able to open and close it very, very effortlessly. And then on the topic of hardware, another thing to keep your eye out for is protective feet. And especially when you're working with a structured bag and something that's designed to sit by itself and not topple over, those uh, protective feet on the bottom are really helpful because they a keep it upright but then also they protect the bag so that they don't get scuffed or scratched and it doesn't get dirty and those protective feet are a very clear indicator that the bag was made with intention and care and that attention to detail goes a really long way and not only how beautiful it is but then also how long it lasts in your closet and just the quality overall and really striving for that longevity so now let's move on from the hardware into the actual construction of the bag and the overall material of the bag and I want to start with the leather first so going for a really high quality leather is obviously a great place to start because that is going to encourage the longevity of the bag it's gonna wear really well it's gonna age really well and just look a lot better and it's really hard to understand this at first especially if you don't have any exposure to this so my recommendation is to go back and watch some of my other videos but then also you can learn this really quickly by looking at high quality bags and holding high quality bags in your hand. But generally speaking, you're gonna want a leather that doesn't have any aggressive creasing in it. Something that's beautifully pebbled is a really great place to start because that ages really well. And then also make sure that the seams are clean. Nothing is fraying, nothing is visible, everything's been finished and again, has that attention to detail. And then also a really high quality bag will often come with removable compartments. And especially if you're looking at something like the song bag that I'm styling here, because it's such an open compartment on the inside and it's designed to have that gorgeous shape having things that you can take in and out to store your coins or anything that you might need throughout the day is a really nice touch so another handbag secret I think every woman should learn is to not neglect the inside of the bag so just like I mentioned earlier about the hardware you want to make sure the story is consistent if the outside of the bag is really chic the inside should be really chic and ensuring that the material is really beautiful there's attention to detail Detail, everything looks finished nothing is scuffed or scratched and ultimately you have maybe a beautiful exposed leather nice suede and just generally everything looks like there's been thought it's not an afterthought so now let's talk about how you can choose the perfect color for your bag and with this topic in mind and this idea of longevity I want to focus in specifically on the neutral colors things are gonna be really versatile really timeless and ultimately the most flexible for your style and we're going to kind of avoid 
the statement bag for the time being and just really focus in on these over here with those beautiful neutral colors. So there are a couple ways you can go about this. Probably the easiest is to match the shoes that you have in your wardrobe. So whatever pair of shoes or a couple pairs of shoes that you wear the most often, going for a bag that matches those is going to create that cohesiveness in your outfit. It's a really easy way to build out your wardrobe. And then another way you can look at this is to just find something in a beautiful neutral color that's maybe not necessarily a shoe color, but still something that would complement the overall color palette of your closet. So I really love a taupe for this. I think taupe is such a versatile color. It goes with so many other colors. It doesn't speak too loudly. And then ultimately it is really, really timeless and classic. So you can go for something like a darker taupe or something like a lighter taupe and almost close to a cream color. And you can wear that color all year long. And then of course, you've got your traditional brown and black. And these are gonna be really safe bets. Again, if you have a lot of colors like that in your closet, and then ultimately if you have a lot of shoes or belts in those colors, but then there's another element that I want to add to this. And that is that if you really have no idea what to do, I recommend trying to find a color that's close to your hair color. Something with maybe the same contrast level as your hair or the actual exact color of your hair. That's gonna be a great way to build out your wardrobe because that's always on you. And so if it's something that you don't ever change, maybe it's your natural hair color or it's a color that you just repeatedly uh, go to, matching your hair to your bag ensures that there's always something on you that repeats that color and it creates a really gorgeous cohesiveness and takes the guesswork right out of it. So now let's talk about how you can choose the perfect shape or the overall style and the silhouette for your bag. And there are a couple things that I like to keep in mind when it comes to this. The first and probably the most helpful for me in my personal style has been to scale things down to my proportions. So rather than just seeing a beautiful bag and kind of forcing it to work, make sure that you're being really honest about how comfortable it is to hold, if it actually fits over over your shoulder, if it's in proportion to you and it doesn't make you feel too dwarfed or it's not something that's kind of distracting from you and instead it's really complementing your outfit and really enhancing you and the overall vibe that you're creating. And then it's also really helpful to keep versatility in mind and make sure you're finding a bag that can be worn multiple ways. This is again something that I've focused in on the last couple years and I'm so glad that I did because being able to style something a lot of different ways and carry it different ways makes a really big difference in how often I actually wear it and how often I reach for it. So for me personally, I really love a mix of a top handle and a crossbody. Wearing something hands-free is probably my preference, especially if I'm traveling. But then also if I want to hold it top handle, that just elevates the whole outfit a little bit and makes it feel a little bit dressier and a little bit more put together simply by just changing how you're holding your bag. And the last handbag secret that I want to go over is that proper storage is essential. So this comes down to two separate things. The first is a dust bag and most high quality bags will come with a dust bag. The Songmont bags definitely do. They come with their own dust bag and keeping your bag in a dust bag protects it literally from dust as the name suggests, but then also just exposure to the sun if maybe you have them out rather than inside of a closet and then also just make sure they're not going to get scratched or scuffed and it's just an extra protective layer to ensure that your beautiful investment actually lasts a long Long time. And then the other part that I want to mention is to stuff your bag. And especially if you're working with something that has a gorgeous shape, you want to make sure that you're stuffing that with maybe some socks I've done in the past. I've also put silk scarves in it or just basic tissue paper works really beautifully. And making sure that you're doing that will help it keep its shape. And that goes a really long way and how great it looks for as long as possible. So I hope that these handbag secrets are helpful for you. And as you're developing your personal style, keeping these things in mind can really help you make great purchases and ultimately create a closet that has a lot of versatility and something that you actually look forward to using and wearing. So thank you again to Songmont for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to link the bags that I styled in the description box down below and then along with my discount code, which I will also put here again for you. And then of course, thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.